Okay, everybody. This audio is going to be a warning and basically the first thing you need to listen to about what's going on in the process. Uh, I've got uh, on uh, up there. I've posted some warnings to you that you need to until you get your emancipations completed. You need to sort of back down, sort of keep a low profile, and don't antagonize these people uh, that are out here. And even after you uh, do come out, try and keep a low profile uh, hidden in plain sight, okay? They will be out after you, okay, in some regards. But when you stand your ground in the right way and understand that they, they have no jurisdiction over you, okay, you let them play their hand out, okay? If they overstep their bounds, then you let the courts, the proper courts, take uh, the action against them. You will stand in the right capacity to be able to do this once you've done your emancipation, because right now, uh, the jurisdiction that is out here is a criminal jurisdiction. Everybody that's in that uh, present court uh, is a criminal. Even the judge is a criminal because they're all slave owners. The judges and basically a lot of the officers of the court, uh, they're not officers, basically the uh, employees of the court, okay, the or well, really they're criminals, the criminals of the court, okay? The court itself is a criminal court, okay? A court run by criminals because they all have slave, slave uh, in their process. So they are committing a violation of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments, okay? By having a Social Security account and all other uh, debtor-slave accounts. Okay? So they're criminals. If you come out and do your emancipation, freeing all your debtor slaves, and then you emancipate yourself from being under parental or guardianship of the state and the church, then basically they have no jurisdiction over you. Your court will be the senior ecclesiastical court, which is over the Constitution. Okay? It's a court that is not under the Constitution. It's a court that is over the Constitution, standing in the lawful uh, de jure laws of the universe. They're the universal law system that's out here. That court is protected by treaty, by the Declaration of Independence. The Constitution, they are nothing but charters created by man to form a government to basically provide some protections. But we also have a fraudulent uh, charter out here, which is a banking charter, which is an unwritten, has an unwritten Constitution. So, you need to listen to this warning first off, okay? Hold off drinking. Hold off doing speeding. Making yourself uh, a public enemy in a lot of ways. Okay? Keep low profile. Okay? <clears throat> Get your emancipations in. Once you've done this, I'm basically, all you have to do is get these certified and into the right hand, and then basically they do not have any jurisdiction over you because you've relinquished the jurisdiction, the slaves over to them. Now they can't charge you. And they can't charge your slaves either because your slaves, when they, you turn them over, had to relinquish all the assets, the letters of credit that you have given into the slaves. They have to relinquish that back to you as the lawful owner. Okay? They have the numbers. They have the slave numbers. You don't have a slave number. 
So, after you listen to this warning, listen to the other audios that I've done over the last couple of weeks. Okay? This is uh, January the 26th. Okay? So, basically, listen to the others that I've done here recently uh, about this emancipation. This is the, this goes all the way back to Roman time frame, 2,000 years ago, is to emancipate yourself from their fraudulent system. Oh, I've got several documents up there on the emancipation. Uh, you need to look at those letters. Uh, one is going into the Pennsylvania Financial Center. Another one's going into the Iowa Vicar General. Okay? The one going into the financial center is basically uh, out there talking about your debtor slaves or your devils. D-E-B-I-L. Debt vessels is what devil stands for. You understand what de facto means? Basically, this is devil is a two-word synopsis too. Latin phrase. Okay? So, this is all in accordance with the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment. Now, I have another letter that's going to the Vicar General, which I also sent to the uh, senior judges at the federal courthouse, federal district courthouse. Those senior judges are going to be the judges that are in an ecclesiastical court scenario that stands over the Constitution. You have self-executing ages of your rights to do emancipations in the Constitution. The age is 21, the age is 25. Also, you had an emancipation as an age of discretion at the age of 14. You could decide who you wanted to be your guardian or your parent. You chose the state by having a social security account. Now, you can always change that. You have the right of choice, right of change in the process. So, look over the, uh, the items that I have about emancipation and the supporting documents. Look over these warnings that I posted up to you. Uh, I also put a certificate of forced hire fee schedule. And then basically the, uh, definition of what the difference in between a birth certificate and a certificate of live birth is. And then there are several other information uh, items in this uh, stick that I sent out to several people here uh, that you can go through and uh, study these things. You need to know what the words mean. Most words have dual meaning. Make sure that when you use a word, you're using it under one meaning, make sure that the other party understands the meaning that you're using. Because in some cases, they will try and use the opposite meaning, and that opposite meaning could cause you harm. So, you need to sit down and study and listen to this stuff, and then stay out of trouble, okay? I can't do that for you. You've got to do that yourself. So, that's all up to you now. Here's the documents uh, that I posted. They're up on the We the People underscore shareholders group site, Yahoo group site, or on eConcurrent, eConcurrent.com slash divine. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, this was just a quick little audio here to uh, try and get you to to try and help you stay out of trouble, okay? Have a good day. Take care.